In this video, I'm going to go over one of the functions, the distributions function. Well, this function is very helpful, especially in the structural design of an airplane, and I'll show you why. So we're going to select it there, go ahead and run it. It's going to prompt us to download. You can change the name. Uh, the name that is here is useful because of the, the detailed timestamp. But we'll go ahead and save that and open it up. Now, all this file is, it's just this dump of information, and it's formatted that you can make a, a parser for it quite easily in Python, MATLAB, and other languages. But I'm just going to go through this real quick. On the left, we have in the columns, we have the name of the wing. So we got wing one, wing two. And it does the left and right sides. So wing one, wing two, and then we have the horizontal and the vertical stabilizers. You notice the vertical stabilizer doesn't have two sides because remember it's only a, I think it's a right. After that, for every single point, we cut that wing in this case in I think it was like 30 pieces, or four, it was 40 different pieces. Every single point along that, you have the exact X, Y, Z location of the center of that node. So that's the quarter cord of the airfoil at the spanwise location. You have the cord at that exact location, the twist at that exact location, the, the sweep and the dihedral at those locations, and the sectional surface area of the wing for that location. So when the wing is analyzed, it's split up spanwise into a bunch of areas, and this is that section surface area. We have the unit axial x, y, and z, unit normal x, y, z. Those are pretty detailed. We'll go over those in another video. And then we have the local angle of attack. This is important. It's different than your global angle of attack. So there's the effect of the main wing on the horizontal stabilizer and vice versa. So there's a local angle of attack based on the twist and the way the air is flowing around the wing. And that's what this is for each section, the local angle of attack. The local sectional lift coefficient, the sectional parasitic drag, and the sectional moment. So when I do some structural design, I have a parser that takes this and I can you know, quickly calculate the load from the angle of attack and then the lift, section lift coefficient and the area. I can quickly um, calculate the, the load, the point load along the wing, and size my structural components appropriately to take the, uh, the loads that the aircraft sees in flight. So that's the distribution function, very useful in structural design. Um, I hope you like it.